Hello. Now, we at Punk Science, that's us, we love the universe, but we're also very impatient, and we can't wait to see how it might end. So what we're going to do now is look at the three main theories for the end of the universe. OK, because the universe is a huge thing. It's very big, and it's expanding, and there's lots of important stuff, sorry, lots of important stuff in it. So we're going to try and look at that now. But before we look at the distant ends of the universe, we need to learn about the beginning. John. Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, now, the beginning of the universe was the, yeah, kind of, a little bit too close, kind of weird. <laughs> Now, we all know about the Big Bang. It's basically the start of the universe. Big Bang does exactly what it says on the tin. There's a big explosion, and all the matter in the universe is created. So it starts everything. expanding, it starts expanding, and it carries on expanding everything. That's right, Dan. Even him? Yes, even him, yes. That yeah. guy. Yeah, that guy as well. Her yes. shoes? Yes, her shoes, okay. yeah, and you, and everything. 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 All the matter in the universe is created. That's the Big Bang. Right, uh, but what happens? The universe has been expanding since the Big Bang. What happens? Does it keep expanding forever at the same speed? Does it speed up? Does it slow down or even stop and go back in on itself? Well, that's what we're going to try and look at now. So we're going to start off with end of the universe theory number one. Pop science, make you know it all. Yeah, yeah. Now, this theory says that all the matter in the universe carries on expanding, but because all matter has gravity, gravitational pull, that gravity starts pulling things back together. And it carries on pulling and pulling and pulling until everything comes together in one big crushing crush. Is that bad? Yeah, that's quite bad. Okay, yeah, that's okay. really bad. Right. Now, Dan and I are going to represent all the matter in the universe. Both of us are going to be all the matter in the universe. Everything. Now, we're wearing these funny bungee things because this bungee cord here is going to represent the gravity in the universe. Uh, this is the gravity. Now, this is strong gravity because uh, what we've done is we've got a metal clip in between. Now, this metal clip should be strong enough to pull us back in together when we start moving around. We need uh, a big bang here. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> and we're expanding, so we're expanding, we're expanding, we're expanding. We're all the matter in the universe, but gravity, the bungee cord is going to pull us back in. We'll pull back in until bang. <laughs> Obviously, the universe out it doesn't fall over like that. that that doesn't happen what actually happens is the horrible horrible end to the universe everything's destroyed can anyone guess what this might be called this yeah. horrible horrible end to the universe it's got a particular name can anyone shout guess out if you be? think you might guess the name of the theory just shout have a guess big bang big bang that was the no, beginning we've done kind of the first one yeah uh, the end the end i like the end but no unfortunately not it would yeah. be though all your suggestions were better than the actual one. The big, the big crush. The big, the big crush. crush is good, but it's not. It's the big crunch. The big crunch. It sounds like a breakfast cereal, not it's the end rubbish. of the universe. It's the end of everything. It should be scary. Now we're going to move on to the second theory. Now we're going to look at what happens if we don't have enough matter in the universe, which means we have weak gravity represented by the cardboard ring of weak gravity. So once again, we're going to need a big bang. We blew the budget on that first one. Uh, so I think we've got one more over there. Uh, yes, you ready? Big bang on standby. Once again, we're going to speed up time. The universe is going to expand, and you'll see what happens. Uh, what? Um, Dan, what? Just um, you say weak gravity. Yeah, right? yeah, I've, I've said it a lot, actually. What? Yeah, so is this going to hurt? Why would it hurt? It's, it's, it's a science experiment. It well, I'm just hurt. saying, is this going to like sort of, you know, No, no, the universe is going to keep expanding forever and ever, obviously. So, so I'm so. definitely not going to get hurt. No. And definitely anyway, not. And anyway, who cares if you get hurt? So just OK, fine, OK. Right, right. so uh, are we ready? Here we go. Back to back. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Of course, that's not what actually happens. You don't get hit in the back of the head by a piece of cardboard. That was an unnecessary distraction. What happens is all the planets and the galaxies... Are you crying a bit? No. Don't cry, John. That's... <laughs> Sorry about this. All the planets and galaxies keep accelerating and apart and spreading out further and further, and most importantly, moving further and further away from any heat and light source, namely the suns and stars. So what happens is everything gets colder and colder and colder. Imagine this, the coldest you've ever had and colder, even more, until they get to absolute zero, the coldest you can possibly be, and everything freezes to death, even penguins. That's how you die in this second theory. Now, we've had the Big Bang and the Big Crunch. What do you think they called 
this theory. Again, it was the big something. Yes, sir. The big freeze? The big freeze. Not bad. That would have made sense. And I think some people even do call it that. Anyone else? The big death? Ah, the big death. That would have been better. Ice Age 2? Ice Age 2. Ice Age 2. That was a film. Um... <laughs> but I like it. Now, what they actually chose to call it was the big chill. The, bi the big chill. The big, big Sounds chill. like a fruity yogurt drink. Or a chocolate. Oh, ice. no, oh. the big chill. Oh, I'll just have my big crunch and oh. then, oh, no, it's not frightening. They've got to learn to make things scary. But the most important thing to remember is that these two theories fit into what we can observe about the universe. So you get your radio telescopes out, I'm sure you've all got one at home, and you can see that the universe is expanding. But only in the last couple of years uh, have scientists discovered that the expansion of the universe is actually speeding up. Planets and galaxies and stars are moving away from each other faster and faster. And they didn't know why. They didn't know why. But they came up with a theory to explain it. John. This is down to something really scary. And this is a proper scary name. This is called Dark Energy. Dark Energy. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Be afraid. So if you could come just round here for me, please. Uh, you can here, stay please. there. Yes, right there. Okay, that's good. There. You stay no, there. there. No, you there. Stay there. No, there. That's good. Come in a little bit. Come in a little bit. Come in a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Too close. No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> so what's going to happen is uh, you two are going to represent dark energy, <laughs> and in order to make you properly scary, we're going to give you these to ah! put on. <laughs> yeah. Here is a lovely drawing that Dan did. You can tell what that is, can't you? No, it's some planets. Uh, so that's a galaxy there. So we're going to try and hold our galaxy together as the force of gravity. You, dark energy, you're going to try and pull it apart. We are going to need another big bang. Oh, um, yeah. Unfortunately, we sort of blew the budget yeah, uh, no, completely. Nothing left. So uh, we've got someone trained to, to take care of that. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. OK. It's going to be no problem at all. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's not going to sound rubbish at all like just someone saying bang. It's not. Why would it? Uh, no. uh, Three, two, one, bang! OK, Dark Energy, start. Oh, oh there it goes, there goes the galaxy. Dark Energy, come back, come back just a little bit. So that's the galaxy's gone, but what's next to go? It's little puppy dogs. Oh, oh no, little puppy oh, dogs sweet. get torn oh, apart by the galaxy. Let's obviously next thing. Start pulling, start pulling, pull pull. as much as you can. Pull, pull. Ah, and there's the puppy dog start. And the last thing to go, last thing, are the very atoms that we're made of. Dark Energy, go, pull, start oh, pulling. Pull, pull, as much as you go. Oh, and there no, the atoms. you've destroyed and that's everything. It. Look at and the mess it. you've made. We're down to subatomic particles. That's pretty much the end of the universe. Gone. Thanks to these two. You've destroyed everything. So you're probably wondering what they chose to call that awful theory where everything gets violently torn apart. Well, unfortunately, they're back to their disappointing naming ways. And it's called the Big Rip. And they are the three possible ways the universe is going to end. Yeah. <laughs>